The hospital is the third in northern BC to receive a primary COVID-19 site designation, joining Mills Memorial in Terrace and the University Hospital of Northern BC in Prince George. The three facilities will act as the first line of defence if there is a major outbreak in the north. As of April 1st, there are 16 confirmed cases, but that number could rise. Northern Health Media Relations Manager Aaron Collins says the hospital could take in patients from nearby facilities. Those primary sites would be where the most critically ill patients would be cared for. That strategy also looks at how to move people around the region and the province as things progress. Fort St. John's Hospital was chosen because it has the ability to handle critical care. It has 44 acute care beds and three intensive care units. The exact number of ventilators is unknown, but Collins says they'll get more if needed. Additional ventilators have been ordered. Some of them have already been received at the provincial level, like for BC, and, and there's more on the way, and those will be deployed as needed across the province. Being a primary COVID-19 site does not mean the hospital is immediately closed to other urgent care. It's all going to depend on, on how well we do at flattening the curve and keeping our case numbers down and the numbers of people who actually require acute care down. The hospital is also taking extra precautions. Effective April 1st, only essential test and lab work will be done. Lab hours are now by appointment between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday to Friday, and between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. on Saturday. For up-to-date COVID-19 information, visit cjdctv.com. Lachlan Drash Bevan, CJDCTV News, Fort St. John. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.